Well, new tonight at 6, Utah has just two through-turn intersections left here in the state, and after UDOT recently got rid of one in Kearns. UDOT spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to change course. Michael Locklear is in Draper with some answers for us tonight on the fate of the controversial design. Drivers can't make a left at this intersection in Draper. You have to go well beyond it and then make a U-turn. UDOT says this reduces congestion, getting drivers through faster. This through turn is one of just two left in Utah. It's at State Street and 123rd South, the first of its kind in the West, according to UDOT. Left turns would be moved away from the intersection to these locations, but the department recently removed the one in Kearns at 5400 South and 4015 West. And they would turn uh, right where these rocks are. Unfortunately, it's under the snow. I believe it helped things. Uh, it was cumbersome. If you had to turn left, you had to actually go past the light and do the U-turn. Removing the through turn cost UDOT $700,000. That's quite a bit of money that they probably didn't need to spend. Was it worth the money to put that through turn in and then remove it a few years later? Oh, absolutely. It was worth the investment. The UDOT spokesman says a new overpass a block away at Bangarder Highway was an even better solution. That meant the through turn was no longer needed. In this area, it's really done a great job, an effective job over the last uh, six, seven years, um, improving traffic flow and improving safety in that area. UDOT says the through turn here in Draper, as well as the one in Layton on Hillfield Road, are both working out well. No plans to change those. As for whether we'll see more of these, UDOT says it's hard to say because it's a tailored solution. Back to you.